we've enjoyed our couple of days here in Lucerne and everybody just pulls their suitcases along on the platform. It's, we get on very quickly and easily into this comfortable train. And here's our baggage team at work. So we spend three days and nights here in this beautiful city, the capital of France. Paris is a must for any serious traveler. If you have never been, you must go. And if you have been there, you already want to go back again. Driving along the busy Rue de Rivoli, this is really one of the main shopping streets in Paris. It was our great pleasure on this trip to stay at a brand new hotel, the Cidadin Suite Louvre, located just a block away from the Louvre, right in the very center of town. Right away, we want to get started with a walking tour right through the heart of Paris, starting out from the Louvre area. Well, we passed this ceremony, some kind of soldier's salute, into the Place Vendôme and onto the Opera. There's usually some kind of entertainment taking place right there in front of the old opera house. One, one. Chartier restaurant is one of the legendary institutions of Paris. Well, after, what do you want, please? The waiters are a little gruff. Lamb, lamb, continue. They put on a little bit of an act for you, but really this restaurant is one of the best values in town and some crepes for dessert right across the street as we continue walking along the Grand Boulevards to Rue Montergy. This is one of the liveliest streets of Paris. Uh -huh. And up the next morning, we're showing you a quick version of our visit to Paris. We'll be heading out on the town for a walk through the Tuileries Gardens we're heading over across the River Seine to the Orsay Museum. This is the great collection of French Impressionism, a former train station, now one of the finest art museums in the world. And then after the Orsay, it's time for lunch. They have some nice little restaurants just a block away, quite inexpensive and quick and easy. Ham and cheese sandwich. With a grilled ham and cheese sandwich. Right. Continuing our walk through the Place de la Concorde, just beyond Concorde Square, we run into La Durée, one of the great pastry shops in Paris. Especially famous for their macaroons. What a delicious taste treat. Passing the Church of the Madeleine, and we get into our open top bus for a tour of the city. There's our hotel over there at Place Andre Malraux, the Cité Dean. The open top bus tour passes the Louvre and most of the major highlights of central Paris. Cruising along the Seine River, past the Bucunistas, Notre Dame Cathedral. The bus tour is a very good way to see the city passing the Orsay and through the Place de la Concorde, up the Champs-Élysées to the Arc de Triomphe. And here we hopped off and took a stroll on the boulevard, get some pictures at this largest triumphal arch in the world, Arc de Triomphe, with a busy traffic circle all around it. It's a little cold for us Hawaiians. Hawaiian oh, eye. <laughs> not like Hawaiian eye. Although we found the temperatures throughout were pretty pleasant, usually in the 60s. Some views of the Eiffel Tower, another place to hop off and have a look up at this world famous symbol. And we're continuing along by RER train out to the suburbs to visit the great palace at Versailles, home to Louis XIV and several other kings elaborate interior decorations and especially the great hall of mirrors next morning we're up for another walking tour leaving from our centrally located cidadine the first 
focus of the day is going to be in the Louvre, just a block from the hotel, pretty convenient. Viewing the highlights, the great treasures. We spend about three hours inside the Louvre, enjoying the rooms of Napoleon III and the sculpture garden, the courtyards. And then we're quickly out back on the street. Yes, I put up with your passing, and I put up with your passing. Continuing our walk along, this time we're heading past the Pompidou Art Center over to Notre Dame, the great cathedral of Paris, located on the Ile de la Cité. And walking around the side of Notre Dame and behind it, we continue across the bridge over to the Ile Saint Louis, St. Louis Island. We're heading to our favorite French ice cream shop, Bertillon. There are several shops and cafes that do sell it. Viewing a few more churches along the way in the flamboyant Gothic style into this lively restaurant area and concluding our walking tour of the city. Of course, we'll have a lot more of Paris to show you in our other videos. And we've already presented many, many hours of Paris from previous trips to you. So today, this was just a short taste of the city. And now we're moving along to London.